Can you elaborate on asshole game from, <laughs> from artiste? Do you really need to be an asshole to get girls? Um, I've talked about this. Actually, this whole thing, the asshole, the jerks, women, chicks dig jerks. That's that's the artiste thing. Chicks dig jerks. Uh, that's in the player's handbook. So you can uh, pick that up too. It's, but the, que you're, the question you're asking is answered in that. Do I have to be a jerk? Do I have to be an asshole? And the answer is no, but you have to harness the energy of the asshole. So you have to harness the energy of like uh, being a little less tolerant than the average guy. You have to remember, and I'm going to go back to statistics here. You have to go back to sort of like, what's the pool of guys out there? When we talk about how 80% of guys are deemed unattractive by women, that's the 80 percenters. Those are the beta males. Those are the guys who have to figure some way to get out of or find some way to you know, do value added to get out of the 80 percentile, the 80th percentile so that they can get into the 20 percentile who are the guys who might do. And then there's the four and a half percent that are the, the Justin Wallers of the world, right? They're the guys that women will go out of their way to make an approach or to initiate some sort of contact with. So that, but the 80 percent are guys, um, a lot of them think that, well, Justin's kind of an asshole. So if I'm an asshole, then women will want to be with me. And that's not necessarily the case because sometimes when you become an asshole, um, you, uh, you, it, it's, it's more of a turn off because it's not because of the asshole part. It's because of the incongruency part. So if you look a certain way, if you dress a certain way, if you present yourself, the sub communications that women pick up on, if they're incongruent with you, like pretending to be an asshole, that's when it's even worse for you because you're not only are you not only are you uh, sort of insulting, not only are you an asshole, but you're also incongruent with what that woman expects of you to be. So like if you're in the 80th percentile, there are certain characteristics. There are certain ways that guys look. The physiognomy is real. Um, there are ways that the, the, that men in that 80th percentile present themselves and communicate or sub communicate that women pick up on and they go, okay, he's not the kind of guy I want to get with. Right. I'm not going to fuck this guy. It's a play on the old adage of if a woman sees you, she knows if she wants to fuck you in the first five minutes. No, that is false. She knows in the first five minutes, if she won't fuck you because of exactly what I just said, you are incongruent with your, with who you present yourself to be. She knows just from having dealt with guys from the time she was like 10 years, even probably younger than that, eight years old. If it's a pretty girl, the little boys on the playground behave and act in a certain way. And even if she's not that girl, the other girls see another pretty girl and how boys behave around that girl. And they get that in their head from the time, from a very, very young age. So now you're talking about an adult woman who for most of her life has had to either experience that secondhand or experiences it firsthand. Then she, they, women tend to, uh, to develop a refined sense of who they're going to sleep with and who they're not going to sleep with. And who is that's going to be from the, from five minutes of meeting with that guy. So, um, so if you're pretending to be an asshole, there are certain cues that that woman's going to pick up on and say, well, you know, maybe he's uh, he doesn't seem congruent. That's not the kind of guy who is usually an asshole. He's he's not good looking enough to have that asshole attitude. Or if he does and he keeps it up and he's, you know, maybe she gets the ick. Maybe she gets the creep factor from it. A lot of guys will listen to like or they'll they'll, they'll learn like well, maybe it's direct approach. I don't say direct approach. They'll learn game like formalized game. And they'll be like, oh, you need to learn neg hits. Well, guys think that a neg hit is just like insult the girl. It's not. It's a backhanded compliment. But that's, they, they're too impatient to ever learn anything about that. But that's being an asshole. Or they think that, well, you know, chicks dig assholes. I insulted her because that's, well, that's a neg hit. No, it's not. It means you're just a dick and you're an incongruent dick. <laughs> Now, asshole, and again, you don't have to be an asshole, but you do have to harness that kind of attitude. So can you be an asshole? Yeah, but most guys aren't good looking enough to actually be able to pull that off or they don't have the patience to, or that's just not who they are. But if nice guys got laid, then you know, well, as, soon as, as soon as women start fucking nice guys, then nice guys will get laid. So it's usually the difference between the two. So 
the guy that's like the genuine asshole who can pull it off because he's good looking enough or a social proof where he's like confident that that's his like genuine personality. He's probably going to pull that off and it's probably going to work for him. That doesn't mean it's going to work for you. So. 